Now welcome to this video. My name is Rolex and I'll be showing you how to use the inbuilt photo render in Achikad 19. Now first of all the thing you need to do is to open your your project and head to the 3D. So the inbuilt photo render uses the the 3D views as a point of taking pictures. Now once you set your 3D in such a uh, in accordance to how you want to take the picture you will now head to the documents option documents documents in the menu menu bar and then you scroll down to creative imaging creative imaging and then after this uh, when this pop-up menu appears you select photo rendering settings now once you select the photo rendering settings, a new pop-up window will appear. Now this window, it looks so simple but it's very important. It's actually like the camera that you're using to take the pictures. Now it contains a number of things here. Uh, first of all there is this view here. Uh, this is like the screen of your, your camera where you'll be previewing the picture that you want to take just before taking it. Now there are a number of settings you can do here. You can change that. Uh, like right now, I will change it to size to 3D window. No, I will change it to screen, and I select the biggest. What's oh, not happening? Screen. 1680 by 1050 yes so that's it now i come back to the setting and now i want to select my rendering settings in the rendering settings there are several parameters that you can you can choose from yes there are several parameters that you can choose from uh, one of them being the quality of the picture that you're taking you will also set the light setups and then uh, there is the environment. This way, you'll be setting your physical environment, the background, and everything. So, we're going to use a background of physical sky, and uh, the sky intensity should be 100. Sky should not be clear. We are going to choose an image here that is going to be displayed as our sky. I always like using this for boarding and. Uh, we're not going to use this Archicad Sun position, but rather we are going to set our time, and the time of the day will determine where our sun shall be positioned, and that way you will be able to see the 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 shadows and all that, and it will also illuminate your building. So if you choose AM, that means the picture is going to be taken probably in the night, and. Uh, in the night or in the morning so i always like using afternoon so let's take here to be pm and then we use this one to one reduce this to one two actually let's make it two yes 3 p 3 pm we'll be able to see the images now there is another thing that you need to do uh, this background thing i've not really understood what it's all about but i think it's all about setting the picture in the background which we've already done in the environment so we'll not give it much and now we need to come back here to rendering for the quality it really determines the time that your image takes to build here so for this video we are going to take low quality both for the for the elements and for the for the shadows so let's take the low quality options and then let's preview this as the preview is building as you can see it's building here it's going to help you see how your image is actually going to appear uh, when you take that picture at that point uh -huh. it's almost done 
yes this is how the image is going to appear so once i've set everything and i'm sure that i now want to take that picture i will just come and click on this button here and when you click on that button this is what happens the picture is taken and actually it takes a bit of time to build up here so i'm going to fast forward that just to save on time and you can see how it's building it's really taking its time uh, yes and this also depends upon your your computer uh, uh, your computer computer configurations uh, the higher your computer is the lesser time it will take to build this image so you can imagine if we took all this to be high if we took everything to high, 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 if we set everything to high, probably it will take longer, much, much longer time. And we don't want that right now. It's just for demonstration. Later on, you can set this to uh, your choices and you see how it works. So as that is happening, uh, I just want to rotate this, this picture here so that uh, this 3d here so that i be able to take other sections of this uh, i'll be able to take this image in a different position let's say i want to take it in this position and uh, now once i'm i'm sure that this is the way i want it to be i can now proceed back to my picture and then reload this you can see how that camera is loading. It's pretty taking its time. Yes, when it's fully loaded, this is exactly how it's going to take the picture. This is how exactly your picture is going to look like. Now, I want to build this picture as well. So, I will just come to my button here and click on that. Aha. Uh -huh. And you can see the photo is rendering it's i mean the picture is taken it's now building up our first picture yeah it's also going on very well it's really taking its time probably this because i'm using an older laptop Pictures are really taking time to load, and uh, that's picture one. This is the first one that we took. Let's see the progress with the second one. Huh. Well, it's doing, it's doing good. You can see the sky, there it's coming out, and uh, I just wish we'll be able to see some shadows somewhere because of the time that we set. This actually the shadows of our of our elements in the picture. Uh, and even the, the 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 clouds, yeah. The clouds, if they are not too too dense, then you should be able to see some of their shadows down here. While as that one is doing, uh, let's see picture one. The progress with picture one, yes. And the image is fine. And remember, we took low parameters here. Everything we set to low. If we had set things to higher, probably it would have taken more time. Yes, picture one is now done. We're now waiting for picture two. Once these pictures are done, I'm gonna show you just how, how you can save them uh, as images outside Archicad. Uh -huh. What this thing does, it actually just text the pictures for you so that you can save them somewhere else oh and you can also see the the shadows they are here that means sun is somewhere up here for the shadows to be seen here and these are only the shadows of the building that means the that means that the shadows of of the, of the of the clouds were not captured 
I don't know why. Uh, but picture two is also almost done. Yes, and picture two is also done. Now what we are going to do is now to save these pictures. And to save them you just right click, right click on the picture and then click on save as. You can also use the hotkey control shift s while save us and then this pop-up window so you choose your location i'm gonna save it in the desktop i have this folder called 3ds here let's call this picture let's call it one and then the extension we can use png tfa jpg gif bmp whichever whichever suits you for me i'm going to use png and then picture two i'm also going to save that as two the extension remains png yes and that's it thank you for watching uh, oh well before i sign off you can just head back to that folder where I, this one and then this is the picture that we took from archicad you can see you can now view it using your photo viewers and uh, that's it for today thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for for more videos thank you